Hello, Fox River family. My name is Jessica, and I would like to talk to you today about one of my favorite people in the Old Testament. His name is Jonah, and I'm sure many of you are familiar with his story. God spoke to Jonah and told him to go to the city of Nineveh. He was to call out their evil and warn them of God's judgment that was coming in 40 days. Jonah promptly turned in the opposite direction and fled. As a child, I always assumed that Jonah was afraid to go to Nineveh. Nineveh was a city in the Assyrian Empire whose evil was so great that God felt the need to overthrow it. But first, he wanted to warn them and give them a chance to repent. And this is where Jonah's resistance came in. The second time God sent Jonah to the Ninevites, after God got his attention by having him spend three days and nights in the belly of a fish, he went and proclaimed the message. Jonah 3, 4 through 6 says, Jonah began by going a day's journey into the city, proclaiming, 40 more days and Nineveh will be overthrown. The Ninevites believed God, a fast was proclaimed, and all of them, from the greatest to the least, put on sackcloth. When Jonah's warning reached the king of Nineveh, he rose from his throne, took off his royal robes, covered himself with sackcloth, and sat down in the dust. It goes on in verse 10, when God saw what they did, how they turned from their evil ways, he relented and did not bring on them the destruction he had threatened. Now you would think that Jonah would be thrilled to hear of the repentance of the Ninevites, but this is exactly what he had dreaded all along. Chapter four, verses one and two say, but to Jonah, this seemed very wrong and he became angry. He prayed to the Lord, isn't this what I said, Lord, when I was still at home? That, that is what I tried to forestall by fleeing to Tarshish. I knew that you are a gracious and compassionate God, slow to anger and abounding in love, a God who relents from sending calamity. Jonah didn't think the Ninevites deserved God's forgiveness or mercy, but God used him despite his unwillingness. God doesn't limit his grace to certain kinds of people. When God the Father sent Jesus to earth, he ate with tax, collector, tax collectors and sinners. The Pharisees, who were religious leaders of that day, were angry and looked down on him for this. In Mark 2.17 it says, And when Jesus heard it, he said to them, Those who are well have no need of a physician, but those who are sick. I came not to call the righteous, but sinners. It is so easy for us to fall into the same trap as Jonah and the Pharisees. We limit who we think God can or should extend his grace to, and we forget that we too were once far from God and would be still, except that he extended his measurable grace to us so that despite our sinfulness, we can be made righteous. So how might God be calling you to cross a barrier and extend his love to someone? Take the first step and reach out today.